thank you for joining us for Kanana's In the Kitchen. We have another edition for you today, and I'm Joni Petrie, along with Chef George Caslo, back in the kitchen with us today, Chef Tony DeSalvo. Guys, I have to bring this up before we get started. It is torturous outside. The heat oh, oh, it's is just skyrocket. So oh my God. I think what you're doing today in the kitchen with the shoulder roast is a great idea because we want to keep it inside. We're bringing it in. It's too hot to grill outside yeah. right now. It's inside. Inside so, today. So I know you said we're going to get started first. We're going to season our shoulder roast, right. which we want to mention is on the front of the sales paper this Correct. week. So check it out. It's on sale. And you're it's going to sale. sear it first, right? We're sear it off. We're going to do an Italian braised shoulder roast. Season it, we're gonna sear it off, add a little bit of Chianti or a nice rich Merlot, mm -hmm. a little bit of stock, low and slow. Okay. Basically one of the great crock pot meals as well. Set in the morning, when you get back at five o'clock, your beef's falling apart, serve that on a plate over some rice or some nice sourdough bread like we have today. Some oh, nice sourdough bread. Yes, exactly. indeed. It's certified Angus beef also, by yes. the way. And you know how we feel about certified Angus beef at the store. Quality meat. Top 8% of all beef in the United States. All right, I'm just going to season. You know, you want it too much because you don't want to take away the flavor of the herbs that we're going to add into the pot later. But just enough to kind of really add some caramelization to it. Now it's just a mixed seasoning, so just a, yeah. anything of your choice? Anything of your choice. That's one of my rubs. Salt and pepper. It's his rub. He's, he's actually got ingredients in there that he'll never tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we've got a nice sear. You know, it's going to take a few minutes. You want a nice little caramelization on it. So do you want a hot pot for this? You want a screaming hot pot. Screaming hot. Okay. You'll be able to hold your hand over maybe five or ten seconds. <laughs> he's going to brown this by caramelizing the sugars in the meat. That, that's basically what he's doing right now. And it's one of those, you don't want to mess with it too much. You want to let... So you basically want to sear those the seasoning onto the outer Correct. parts of your meat. And the less you move it, the better. Oh. Just a really about three or four minutes per side. We're going to take it out and we're going to go ahead and add everything in. We've got some beef stock, some Chianti, some fresh herbs. Don't skimp on the fresh herbs. That's the biggest key. So if you were choosing to do this in a crock pot, you would do this first? Well, if you're going to do it in a crock pot, uh, low and slow, you, you can, actually you can skip this step. You don't have to do this step if no. you're going for the crock pot. Right. You could just Not do if all you're doing that. an all day in the crock okay. pot. The idea of the crock pot is to make it easy for you. Right. Right. All right, okay. so you don't have to, to do anything with searing it before no. you slow cook it. That Throw would that be all there. on its own. Okay. Your herbs. Look at that beautiful color. Yeah, that it's looks good. Just gorgeous. Shall we go to some of the other items? Let's go to the other yeah, items. It's going to take that, a little bit. We could talk about some of the things y'all have on the set today. First of all, to open up the show, I just want you to know <laughs> we've got a Philadelphia cheesesteak sausage that sounds awesome yeah, you know everybody about, loves those uh, philly cheesesteak sandwiches philly so now you got it in a sausage. sausage in a sausage philly cheesesteak and it happens to be one of our top selling sausages you might give it a try this week one of the best selling ones that y'all have absolutely absolutely it's a must try now right <laughs> next to the sausage i've got some beautiful pollock pollock is a white flesh fish. Mm -hmm. It's not much for the pit or the grill. Pollock is a good baking fish. It's a northern cold water fish. And you know, for people who are not real fishy fish eaters, this is a good item and it's very mild in flavor. So the pollock is also on sale. So, so we've it's got more to likely to fall apart. Is that right. why you don't want to grill it? You don't want to grill it because it's more likely to fall apart. Exactly. So you might want to do a stir fry or something like that. You could like saute that. it. Saute. You could saute it or bake it off. Exactly. Those would be my two recommended methods. Could you even put it on a wrap? Maybe like do You could wrap kind of it up, put food. it on the back of the grill, wrap it up in some tin foil. Put it on the back of the pit or someplace that's not too, too screaming hot. Yes. And cook it that way. Got to be gentle, not to move it around too much but if I you have, have it on options. the pit so you don't break it up. Good deal. Okay. So we've got two beautiful sale items right now, the Pollock and the Philadelphia uh, uh, cheesesteak sausage. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love this item. I've been in <laughs> Philadelphia and had a Highly real cheesesteak. Highly recommended. Steak. Highly recommended. If you'll notice the color of the vegetables, the chef is going to saute these later on and talk to us about them. But um, I just think that I should bring out 
We've got some beautiful vegetables coming in at the store. We always do. It's springtime. Yes. It's almost past springtime. We are getting beautiful vegetables in the store. This is just one example. Now, I'm going to tell you this week, and usually, I would say most weeks, but this week on sale, we've got cut broccoli, cauliflower, and baby carrots already cut. There's also a uh, zucchini. So save yourself some time because that takes a and lot yellow of time squash. to chop That's up right. You want to save your prep work. That's exactly Lots right. Of, it's really time consuming. Exactly. And if you want to come home and just cook something, and in fact, you could come home, start this in the morning, put it in a pot, crock pot, let it go, walk out the door, come home. You don't have to start chop, chop, chop and cleaning and peeling right. vegetables. Already done. You'll see later how the chef sautés them. Less than five minutes. Very quick meal. Out. The carrots are baby carrots, so they'll cook kind of quickly. Right. Okay, as you notice, we've got some Blue beautiful berries. blueberries. I saw that on the sales paper also. Okay, a so you're going to notice the blueberries. That's right, I brought a lot of the lot produce of the this item. week. Exactly. Uh, blueberries also mm -hmm. are a sale item. And once again, these cut vegetables. We even have a vegetable medley already cut for you so you don't have to mix and match vegetables. So you already have the mixture. So you Very don't have to get easy. three separate items. Exactly. And we have a couple of different mixtures. Okay. Uh, but our medley is also a popular mix. Right. All right. So we've got the blueberries. Wanted to mention we've got clementines this week. Mm. Okay. We've got some beautiful clementines. We've got uh, Washington red cherries and these are just gorgeous uh, I also notice y'all have the uh, red or the black plums exactly and the plums we have back here red or black um, just beautiful you know this time of the year it's getting hot They're so people, sweet people eat more fruit good healthy and snack we got pineapple this week also on sale so we've got oh some and great you know what pineapple is really good on the grill great Pineapple. Mm. I think we've done pineapple on the we've grill, have we not? Really good. Along with our grilled watermelon. Yeah, and I noticed that when Martin was here, you did the watermelon right. on the grill. There we go. Now I look at the color that. on that meat. What we're going to do to be careful, very careful when you add it to the pot, just a little bit of olive oil. See how hot the pot is? Yes. Smoking. Again, this is kind of against every cooking recipe. Garlic. It'll infuse that oil. You don't want to cook it real quick. Add your herbs. I've got some tarragon, some rosemary some basil and some oregano. He's trying to get the flavors mm. of the herbs and the garlic without burning it. Is that just like a minced garlic? Fast saute. That's just a regular minced garlic. If exactly. you're not a big fan of garlic, get you some whole cloves and add that in there. All right, so he just put in some beef stock. Some beef stock. Okay, and that's one of the liquids he's gonna use. Oh man, I smell now it. Now he's right. going in with a Chianti yeah, wine or any full-bodied big Red, a red wine. wine. Yeah. You want to turn that down to about a simmer. Now it's time. He's had it hot. Now it's time to let it go slow. Go ahead and add that shoulder roast in there. And of course, Ooh, he's got yep. red potatoes. Nice, beautiful carrots. red potatoes. Gorgeous. You could even do carrots if you wanted to also, Carrot. huh? You want to add carrots a little bit later because they have a tendency to break apart. down. Okay, yeah. so you could do it, just do it later on right. in your cooking process. You want to keep that on the stove top about 35 to 40 minutes mm -hmm. and then stick that in the oven for about three hours. Minimum of three hours. I, mean, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I agree with the yeah, chef. Yeah, because the more it falls apart, just the better oh, it yeah, is. That's, that's right. like shredded beef and you can't beat that. Be careful your potatoes when you pull them out too. You see, I noticed the chef has a spoon with, with holes. Whole, it's yeah. perforated and the reason for that is when he pulls his potatoes out, he could be really careful so as not to break them. Right, right. right. I'm gonna go ahead and check. I got one in the oven that we prepared earlier. Oh. Let me just check it. That way we can uh, serve it a little bit later. Again, just wrap that in tin foil. You wanna keep all the juices and all naturally from evaporating. Oh my god. Makes gosh. a nice, rich gravy. Oh. Again, that's been cooking for about three and a half, four hours. So that's gonna be basically take a fork, take a pair of tongs, 
there's no slicing involved on that one. Oh, it looks this so is, good. This is going to be almost like pulled beef. It's going it's to be And you can do that, so, like you said, pork. so many ways. You could put right. it over rice with the exactly. gravy. You could do the sourdough bread like oh, y'all yeah. brought onto right. the set. A nice piece right. of French bread. When we come back from break, we'll go ahead and uh, we'll start working on the saute with the vegetables. All right, I'm excited. Good deal. Y'all making me hungry. <laughs> All right, guys. When we come back, we're going to show you the final product of our shoulder roast. We're going to talk about flowers, catering, event solutions, all that and much more. So don't go away. Stay right there. Last night I met a new boy in the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. More and more customers are getting the guaranteed lowest prices with Kanata's Always Save brand. With Kanata's Always Save brand, you get so much for your money. I don't know how they do it. I love Always Save. You just can't beat it. I put more groceries in my basket for less money. I shopped all over. You won't find a lower price. Plus, get 100% satisfaction or we'll double your money. If you work hard for your money, why not get the most for it? Canadas, a cut above. Woke up this morning feeling fine. For recipe information, please visit www.kanadas.com and don't forget about our flower arrangements, which make every day extraordinary. Visit www.kanadasflowers.com and also try Event Solutions. Both of those numbers are on your screen. And of course, George, we have some sourdough bread that we Excellent talked about. Sourdough. Great for the, the gravy of the shoulder roast. Great for the gravy so of the shoulder just, roast. That's why that's on the set. It's also on sale. Sourdough. Get that right on Let the Let me mat mention roast. the laughing cow, not the drunken goat. <laughs> that's the drunken laughing goat's cow. Arch nemesis right there. It's a reduced <laughs> fat cheese. And you know, we've had it on a set, but we haven't mentioned that. This laughing cow is a reduced fat cheese. We mentioned we also, when he's not here. <laughs> well, <laughs> they like to make fun of me. We also have a carambazola. It's a German triple cream cheese. So we got some great cheeses this week. So and if you're watching calories, you can stick to the light laughing cow cheese. And if exactly. you're not, you can hit the Boston cream pot right <laughs> yeah. next exactly. to it. Exactly. And next to it, <laughs> see if we got a shot of this. Well, I'll try not to break it. <laughs> Got a beautiful Boston cream pie. Which is only one of many it's an desserts. It's 8-inch pie, provide. just for your information. So you might want to check out the bakery at Canada's because lots Absolutely. and lots of right. desserts. Lots Absolutely. Of Flowers, let's make uh, everyday extraordinary. Um, nice Event planning, uh, catering, Everything. food, beverage, labor. Any of the events you have coming up, come see us. One-stop shop. One-stop exactly. shop. All right, of Are course. Are you doing our stir fry right there? I'm doing our stir fry, and you know, oh. since, since we neglected my buddy last week, butter's made its comeback again. Quarter pound. Quarter pound <laughs> of butter. But we have vegetables, so it equals out. Oh, oh yeah. I guess I'll believe they could them. use the medley that you talked about right. exactly. the sale to do the stir exactly. fry. Exactly. Well, this is this the sale medley. Oh, so that is it. Oh. This is the sale medley, and he just added a little bit of green pepper, Bell pepper. and a little bit of red pepper. And actually, this is not necessary to add, but just a little bit of kick. Just a one diced uh, jalapeno. Oh. Just something a little just bit different. Just a little something spicy. Exactly. And it'll stand up. These vegetables will stand up nicely to the big, bold flavors of the beef. Again, certified Angus mm. beef. Some minced garlic and a little bit of seasoning, just to give it a little bit so of. So you extra could put flavor. in the minced garlic pretty much right away, since it doesn't right, take yeah, long I mean, to, to stir fry Right. Yeah. I mean, you're looking one or two minutes just for the stir fry. This you want to keep the integrity of the vegetables. You don't want to have mush. Right. You heard what he said? The integrity of the yes, vegetables. The integrity. Keep them from breaking up. It's gorgeous, chef. Beautiful color. And I think our main dish is uh, screaming to come out the oven. Absolutely. Take me out. Absolutely. And you know, people do love those dishes you can just slap in the slow cooker. It's, oh, yeah. exactly. it's so hard oh, with yeah. work to get home that late and try to start supper. Throw it in and you go down, I mean, it's and really inexpensive is the big thing. I mean, this yeah, is that's a, true too. About a three and a half pound roast. And it'll Maybe. probably last you for more than just one meal. So you'll have enough for right. your dinner, depending on your family size, and then exactly. leftovers the following day. Correct. What you're going to be looking at is. Uh, you can make a, thicken that gravy up and make a stew for the next day. Some nice beef tacos, really anything. Mm -hmm. Or even a po' boy, because I mean. Even a cook. shredded po' boy. It's gonna po break boy. down. Because, uh, Watch how it breaks. Look how nice and oh, yes. delicate that is. 
I mean, Make I'm not even stepping boy. in front of the camera today. Look at that. I'm staying behind it. It's just gorgeous. Oh, Look do. at that. Again, like you said, it goes well over rice. Mm -mm. George, would you mind grabbing me a few nice slices of that sourdough? sourdough. I'd be happy to. <laughs> oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's just so gorgeous. Are we going to slap that stir fry right on the side? or what Stir we fry will go on the side. You nice know, it makes a oh, fantastic side Oh yeah, we can't forget dish. that extra juice. Yeah, that little orange juice. Oh, oh, yeah. You know what? I guess that's why we got the sourdough bread in hand. There we go. <laughs> nice. There so we go. It's going to drown it anyway, so you know, let's this add a This is how we do it. it at home. There we go. And the stir fried vegetables. He's getting excited. He's dropping the yeah. spoons and stuff on the floor. Oh. We won't use them. That's all. <laughs> I love broccoli. Look at the color. Mm, mm, mm. And this is a relatively healthy meal. I mean, you've got a beautiful balanced starch, vegetable, protein. You got dairy in there too, don't forget dairy. Oh, we've got dairy in there. We've got <laughs> another starch in there, but uh, this is a beautiful sale item this week. All right, there and, you go. Final uh, that's display. our that's uh, shoulder roast, it Italian style. Beautiful. You know, Tony's got to wipe his plate. Presentation. Well, absolutely. Presentation's everything. <laughs> I just did want to mention Italian style. All right. Well, we're going to wrap it up, guys. Thank you for joining us for another edition of Canada's in the Kitchen. Check out the sales paper this week for the shoulder roast. Um, preparation time is slim to none. Won't take you long. You can slip it right in the slow cooker, as we talked about. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time. Woke up this morning feeling fine. There's something special on my mind. Last night I met a new boy in the neighborhood, oh yeah. Something tells me I'm into something good. Something tells me I'm into something. He's the kind of boy who's not too shy.